guys. I'm back with another book haul. Um, I've got some bookmarks, some used books, some new books, and some books I want to give away. So I thought I'd go ahead and share those with you. First off, I'm going to start out with some of the bookmarks I got. Um, uh, there's an author on YouTube who also does book reviews and book hauls. And her books are amazing. And is the lovely Casey Hilton. And she very kindly sent me some bookmarks of her up-and-coming book release for teens entitled My Name is Rapunzel. And I have to show you up against the white because they're kind of clear, which is very unusual, and they're really nice plastic. And she very kindly signed this one down in here. And I'll go ahead and read the synopsis of the book for you. Uh, of course, it's a fairy tale retelling. My tale has been told again and again, and I have heard each one. Except for my hair, I barely recognize the pitiful renditions, muddled versions, crafted to entertain laughing children. But the children wouldn't have laughed if they'd known the real story. It wasn't their fault. They didn't know the truth. Nobody did. My name is Rapunzel. I will tell you my story. I will tell you the truth. That sounds super awesome. And there's the cover. And I'm looking forward to that release. And in addition to that, I also picked up a book mark at work. I mean, I had to. I mean, check that out. Check out the awesomeness. Keep calm. I'm the doctor. <laughs> and so same thing on the back. So super cool. And okay, on to the book. So the first... Um, well, three books are ones I want in giveaways through Goodreads. Uh, I've shown you one already. That's Constable and Toop by Gareth P. Jones. This is a book that's due out in October from Amulet Books, which is an imprint of Abrams. And I showed this in my October TBR pile, a um, book I was hoping to get to this month, but I'm unfortunately not going to. Uh, so I will move it into November. And uh, that seems super cool. Uh, Ghosts are disappearing in London. Uh, and when this news reaches the attention of the Ghost Bureau, the governing offices, of all things ghostly, diligent but clueless Mr. Lapswood is sent to investigate. So it sounds really cool, and like I said, I'm really looking forward to getting to that. The other two books I won through, um, like I said, through Goodreads, and they are, uh, who puts these out? Oh, uh, Ashad Books, and the author is Juliana Baggett, and that is, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly, I'm not certain. Uh, that's pure and fuse. Uh, I didn't realize when I got the books that I was getting both. I thought it was just a giveaway for the second book. So I was quite delighted to get both. So I have a matching set. I actually had pure as a hardcover and I read it and reviewed it some time ago. Um, so since I had the two paperbacks, I gave away to a friend and you know, well, I'll just have both of these, but it's a really interesting, uh, series. Um, these detonations kind of took place and those that survived, became like fused to either other people, to objects, to the earth itself, and are basically struggling to survive. It's been 10 years since the event took place. There is a, another group of people that um, were able to get into these domes into safety, and there's sort of a war brewing between those inside and those outside the dome. And our main character, uh, Presia, has reached a certain age where you're sort of forced to go into this army to join and fight against the people inside the dome. And of course she doesn't want to do this, so she's like on the run. And there's another main character named Partridge. He lives inside the dome. His father is partially responsible for like building this um, structure. And there's always been some kind of mystery surrounding his mother's death. And he sets out to find out what happened. And of course their two worlds sort of collide. And I, I really enjoyed the first book, so I'm looking forward to continuing the story in Fuse. Uh, the other book uh, I have for you is one that uh, I know it's been going around on YouTube. The author seems to have contacted quite a few people to see if they want to review her books. And I selected just the first one because uh, it's not something that's in my normal comfort zone or genre that I read. It's kind of contemporary YA, and it is um, Anatomy of a Boyfriend. And this is written by uh, Daria Snadowski, and it's put out by Random House. And this is that's sort of not necessarily book one, but she says you don't have to read them in order, or you necessarily have to read them both. Um, but I decided to go with the first one that she published. And the second one is entitled Anatomy of a Single Girl. That's right there. I think that one's still in hardcover. And it's sort of uh, a girl's first encounter, um, a sexual encounter with a boy. And yeah. <laughs> like I said, it's not something I've generally read, so um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's a fairly, fairly thin book, too. Kind of interesting cover. Uh, the next three I purchased at a used bookshop. When I saw this one, I had to snatch it up right away because I'm a big fan of his 
on wine series, and that is Neil Schusterman's book. This is The Dark Side of Nowhere. Pretty thin one, too. Uh, I think it might be standalone. And uh, got a cool cover. It says, Jason is having a bad day, the kind of day when you just don't feel like yourself. Only for Jason, it's not just a feeling. He really isn't himself. Not anymore. Who is he? That's the problem. Jason isn't sure. And it's not just him. Everyone in town is acting weird. His friends, his parents, everyone. Billington is usually such a normal town. As Jason is about to discover, nothing will ever be normal again. So, sounds pretty cool. Um, yeah, it says, nobody is who you think they are, including you. <laughs> um, the next one is a contemporary one. Um, and it's got the weirdest cover. It's entitled Speechless by Hannah Harrington. And saying sorry isn't enough is on the back there. It's really almost difficult to see. I don't know why they chose white, because this is a used book, and it's already kind of dirty cover, but anyway. Uh, and this is about a girl who says, everyone knows that Chelsea and Nott, um can't keep a secret until now, because the last secret she shared turned into a, turned her into a social outcast and nearly got someone killed. So that sounds pretty interesting. Uh, like I said, I, I'm trying to broaden my uh, horizons here and read different books. So again, Anatomy of a Boyfriend and Speechless. We'll see how that is. Um, I actually just finished listening to Pushing the Limits um, on audio. Uh, that was that was amazing. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, the next book I got is Slated uh, by Terry Terry. And I've seen this one floating around for a while. And when I saw it pop up at the used bookshop, I snatched it up. Uh, the second book, I believe, is already out. And it says it's a riveting psychological thriller. Kyla has been slated. Her memory erased. Her personality wiped blank. This is the government's way of dealing with teen terrorists. Give them a fresh start as a new person. They teach Kyla how to walk and talk again, give her a new identity and a new family, and tell her to be grateful for this second chance. So it sounds sort of dystopian. And, uh, yeah, I'm curious to see where that one goes. And the very last book I have seen, again, on several channels. I recently saw it um, at uh, Liz at Izziness89, and then also... Charlie at Duvet Day Devourers, who did a review on it, and this time of year, it's like, I wish I could get to it this month, but I'm not going to be able to, of course. And it is Asylum by Madeline Rue. Oh, look at that cover. Look at that awesomeness. Is that just not creepy? And on the back. Super, super cool. It's got a nice um, black and green kind of theme going through even on the inside. And it's got, uh, again, photos throughout the book. Very much similar to Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, as it's been kind of compared to. But, of course, this is, well, they have a sort of core theme as well. There's, like, actual photos. Um, there's one really creepy one. Well, I'll, I won't share that one with you. You can find it if you decide to pick up the book. Um, but just even the cover, like I said, is, is super creepy, and it continues in here. Um, and it says, once you get in, there's no getting out. For 16-year-old Dan Crawford, a summer program for gifted students is the chance of a lifetime. No one else at his high school gets his weird fascinations with history and science, but at the New Hampshire College Prep program, such quirks are all but required. Dan arrives to find that the usual summer housing has been closed, forcing students to stay in the crumbling Brookline dorm, formerly a psychiatric hospital. Oh, hell no. <laughs> As Dan and his new friends, Abby and Jordan, start exploring Brookline's twisty halls and hidden basements, they uncover disturbing secrets about what they what really went on there, secrets that link Dan and his friends to the asylum's dark past. Because it turns out Brookline was no ordinary psych ward, and there are some secrets that refuse to stay buried. Uh, featuring haunting found photographs from real asylums, this mind-bending reading experience blurs the lines between past and present, friendship and obsession, genius and insanity. Awesomeness. Um, again, I'm going to have to wait till November to get to this one, but that is my book haul. Hopefully you guys found something you'd like to add to your TBRs, because that's my job. I'm a bookseller. What can I say? Um, <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching and happy reading.